This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung NP550P5C laptop computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung NP550P5C laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to disconnect all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. And in order to do that, we flip the laptop over. The battery's located right on the bottom side, and there's two levers right above the battery. We slide both levers outward, and then we slide the battery out. And so both levers have to be engaged outward for the battery to come out. So once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. While we're on the bottom, we're also going to show you how to find the model number for this laptop because it's not always on top. There's a black label on the bottom. And the second line, I'm not getting a good focus, here we go. The second line says model NP550P5C. It also says 550P. Sometimes it goes by that name also. Okay, we flip the laptop over. And also for newer laptops, you can. there's a label on the palm rest sometimes that has the model number. You can find it there. Okay, in order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws on top and then snap it off. And these screws are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So that's what we'll do first. But before we start, we're going to go over the tools we need for this job. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We have a PH00 electronics screwdriver. That's just a smaller Phillips screwdriver. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, that's to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or manipulate cables if you need to. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to remove the screw covers and also to unseat any adhesive tape that we may see. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is use our X-Acto knife to remove the screw covers and when we remove the screw covers we see that there's no screws so they're just bumpers so we put it back and what that means is we can just snap the screen bezel off without removing any screws and that's what we'll do first uh, for this laptop model the bezel is a little bit tricky so it might take some work to snap it off and that'll be the hardest part of the whole repair job so we gently rock back, we put our fingertips on the screen side of the screen bezel and gently rock it back and forth and listen for snapping sounds. In doing this, we make our way all around the screen assembly. And for this one, also, if it's hard to give, sometimes you want to run the flathead screwdriver along the seam on the other side of the bezel and that will help you snap snap it off also. Once you get things going it's a lot easier to do it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to run the screwdriver along the seam here and snap it off. So we keep going around the whole screen bezel like this and gently rock back and forth and gradually snap the bezel off. Same thing on the bottom. Just take your time on it. Eventually it will come. And this is the first time I snapped this one off, so this is about the difficult, same level of difficulty that you'll encounter. So just take your time, and it will give eventually. 
So we put the screen bezel to the side. And what we do next is look at the screen. This type of screen is specific to Samsung laptop computers. So it's mounted on slightly differently than most other screens. The first thing we need to do is to remove two screws on the top here. And for that, we use our PH00 screwdriver, the smaller of the two Phillips screwdrivers. So we remove one screw and two. And what I like to do with each set of screws is keep them in a separate pile so I can keep track of which one goes where. And I keep the piles in the order in which I remove them. For this one, there's not too many screws, so it's not as important. But it's generally, it's a good rule of thumb. So it's only this screen is only secured by two screws at the top. So what we want to do is gently start moving the screen forward and putting it down like so. Now we can see when we put it down, there's only one connector and, and there's a cable going through there. So we will release, unthread the cable just a little bit so we have better access to the connector. And then what we need to do is remove this connector and the screen will be off. There's some adhesive tape that's securing the connector and we use either our fingernail or an exacto knife to lift up the tape and gently to release the tape from the connector. And also sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the connector. So we lift up the back of the connector cable and see if there's any, and there isn't. And then we gently slide the connector out like so, and the screen is released. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to reconnect the screen and to show you how to properly reconnect this connector because I see it as a source of trouble when people do it at home. So we slide the connector back in and you'll feel but not hear two snapping sounds. And let's see what a properly connected connection looks like. Let's get a close up. Okay, right now we have good focus. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a good connection. Okay, so make sure you have a good connection when you reconnect the screen. That's probably the most important part. Okay, we slide out the connector one more time and we take a look at this screen. So this is a 15.6 inch LED screen, but it's not like most common types of LED screens. And only, as far as I know, only Samsung laptop computers use this particular type of screen. The part number that you're looking for, it's right here. It's LTN156AT19. LTN156AT19. Make sure you do your search on this part number. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons do have this screen in stock and we guarantee compatibility with this laptop model. So uh, what you get with us is the compatibility guarantee. And we also have a two year warranty on this screen. Also, this, this screen that we sell comes with this toolkit at no extra charge. The toolkit comes for free with this screen. We also offer free email technical support. If you get stuck at any point during the process, just send us email and we'll walk you through it. And also, you can order if you're outside the United States you can order this screen online from us and most likely we can ship it to your country. To order this screen for us, from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com.
there will be a short form for you to fill out and then once you that, do that we'll guide you to the right screen to buy it online and then just go through the standard checkout process. Okay, the garbage truck's coming back, uh, coming through. My apologies for the noise. Once you do get this screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen back, make sure that the video cable is threaded properly in here. That should not be that big a deal. Put the two screws in on top and snap the screen bezel back on and that's it and you should be done. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.